face swallowed the sour liquid again and stumbled out of the bed. He was too perplexed to take off the headset that now displayed A's big eyes again and her luscious lips that blew him a kiss. <coughs> when the perspective suddenly changed and A's body appeared to be hovering in the air in front of him, B stumbled and fell to the ground. He landed on something hard. Stinging pain went up his spine. <laughs> Nevertheless, B could not stop staring at the twisted spectacle before him. <laughs> And when he stretched out his aching body and gazed up, he saw A looking at him with an expression he had always interpreted as deep affection and a sign of love reserved solely for him. With a desperate scream, he ripped off the heavy helmet and A's actual body appeared in the kitchen before him. B stared at the pipe between her trembling thin fingers and he almost automatically grabbed for it. He got up and forced himself to look away from A's worn out body that was still lying in their chair deliriously. He scanned the table for a lighter and once he found it, he raised the pipe to his lips, took a deep hit and inhaled. his eyelids and watched a spectacle of colors explode before his inner eye. When the squirming naked figure of A appeared within these hallucinations, he took another hit and grasped for the sink behind him so he wouldn't collapse. When he opened his eyes again, he saw his actual girlfriend before him. And though it was hard to shake the images of her that had just been shown, he realized that she had to be cold and in pain. And so he walked up to her, spread the blanket over her thin, exhausted body, and picked her up with a sudden spike of energy to carry her over into the bed. Then he dragged his aching bones back to the kitchen, coughing, and trembling and leaned on the sink again.
In desperation, he grasped for a glass to hold beneath the faucet. And to his surprise, it actually filled with a slightly tainted but drinkable liquid. We have water again. She, she must have paid the bills. B thought and felt guilt and shame wash over him. He sank back in the chair and took another deep hit from the pipe. He noticed that A had also placed a few new plastic baggies onto the table, besides some more thick stacks of dollar bills. She's a good woman. She's a wonderful woman. She provides for us. She did this for us. She did this for me. B said to himself and filled the pipe with a few more crumbs. I just have to get my act together and be a better man for her from now on. And we'll get through this. He muttered as he carried the pipe over to the bed and lay down beside A. She kept her eyes closed, but stretched out her arm to touch him. Then her hand wandered down to his and when she took the pipe and raised it to her lips, he lit it reluctantly and then clung to her in a desperate embrace and held her as she mumbled. I did this for us. I did this for you. I did this for us.
Thank you. Give it up for a cock fun. Johannes on his little machine there, and Julia on hers. And uh, Mescalito on the machine. My name is Dan Kayser I guess we'll have like a 10 minute smoke break, 15 minute smoke break, and if you have some urgent questions to ask us, we'll be here.